According to the American Heart Association, potential consequences of high blood pressure may include stroke, vision loss, heart failure, heart attack, kidney disease, and sexual dysfunction. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in three adults in the United States have high blood pressure, and half of them don't have it under control. As it is difficult to feel high blood pressure, you need to check your blood pressure regularly. In a recent study, 450 volunteers with elevated blood pressure were split into two groups. One group was provided with a blood pressure monitor which sent readings to researchers. The other half of volunteers received usual care from their primary care providers. At the end of the trial, 72% of those monitoring their blood pressure at home managed to control their blood pressure, compared to 57% in the usual care group. According to cardiologist Dr. Deepak Bhatt, a professor at Harvard Medical School, a more frequent blood pressure monitoring allows more opportunities to detect blood pressure that is higher than the desired range. We recommend you take your blood pressure twice a day. The best times are in the morning, before you have taken any blood pressure medications, and again in the evening. Keep a diary of blood pressure readings and share them with your doctor. This may significantly improve your progress in treating high blood pressure, as your doctor will be able to adjust your treatment plan according to the progress you make. How does one select a good blood pressure monitor? Consider the following. An automatic monitor that doesn't require a stethoscope. A monitor that takes the blood pressure reading using a cuff that fits around the upper arm. It is usually more accurate than a wrist-based monitor. A monitor which can be found on formal listings like the US Blood Pressure Validated Device at validatebp.org, Hypertension Canada, or the British and Irish Hypertension Society. A monitor which may connect to your phone over Bluetooth. This significantly simplifies tracking your blood pressure readings as you do not need to enter your data manually. How do you know if your blood pressure is good? Check this table from the American Heart Association. Basically, if your systolic, the upper number, is below 120 and diastolic, the lower number, is below 80, your blood pressure is at normal level. Any numbers higher than these require you to have a discussion with your medical provider. How does the Breathe Now app help you track your blood pressure? The app includes a great set of graphs which show how your blood pressure changed over days, weeks, and months and what factors had an impact on it. Blood pressure numbers can be entered manually or pulled from your Apple Health account if your blood pressure monitor is connected to your iPhone via Bluetooth. You can set a convenient reminder in the app to take your blood pressure readings. You can share your blood pressure graphs with your doctor remotely. Please note that as of May 2022, there are no blood pressure apps on the market which allow you to take blood pressure readings without a blood pressure monitor. Also, as of May 2022, you can't take blood pressure readings with Apple Watch. If you need to measure blood pressure, use validated blood pressure monitors.